Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking, talking about setting the uh, power target for GPUs. This is used in mining, but we're gonna be doing it through a bat file. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Don't forget to go to our other social media accounts like BitChute, Rumble, Gab, Parlor, Mines, and Library. And if you're looking for someone to set up a GPU mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org. We do GPU mining farms or ASIC farms. All right, so let's get started. So we have a 3090. Let me get this out of the way. We got a 3090 rig right here. Power target for 3090s is 100%. And so what we want to do is we want to change on the fly. Like if you watch our, my previous video, you would see that I'm setting the power targets um, every 10 minutes, depending on the VRAM temperatures, either up or down or nothing for each individual GP, uh, GPU. Currently, this one has not been changed for, for a good amount of time, so it's basically running at almost 100 for everything. Got a couple of 95s here at the bottom, but basically running at 100. Uh, actually, no, actually all of them are at 100 because this is on, this 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 uh, rig only has uh, 10 GPUs, so GPU zero through nine, you can see them all here at 100. This is from a different rig, so kind of we're sharing files here, but this is from a different rig. But you should just pay attention from zero to nine. You can see them all at 100. So why would we want to do this? So we want to do this because the VRAM temperature goes up or down uh, depending on airflow, depending on uh, you know weather and, and so on. So we want to run as fast as possible, but we also don't want to fry the VRAM. So we're going to keep the VRAM below 105. So at 104 or less is fine. Uh, we'll up the power target unless we go over 105, then we'll go and then we'll down the power target. So here they're all set at 100. So you can pause the video right now and uh, you can see how this thing is built out. Um, setting, it's a bad file, so just call it whatever you want. It's, I call the power settings not bad. Um, it's a bad file and you set these variables here. Uh, variable 0 through 13 because maximum amount of GPUs we're going to have on one rig is 14 GPUs so 0 plus 13 you know it's going to be 14 GPUs then we're going to point to our NVIDIA inspector and then pass these variables uh, to NVIDIA inspector we're going to pass it through like this so that's how you set it 0 through 13 and then we're gonna we update this value right here to actually change the power target. So if we want to go down five, we go to 95 or whatever you want. You go 97, 98, 99, you know, and and, and so on. If you're running 3080s, you probably have your power target at 70% because that's pretty much the sweet spot for 3080s, most of them. So you set it at 70 for 3080s. Now since this is a 3090, uh, we actually set this to 100. So these are all at 100. And uh, every 10 minutes, this program will then check the VRAMs. It will then create in itself a file and then overwrite the power settings.bat file on the desktop. You see it right here on the desktop. It'll overwrite this and then it'll activate this. So if I press this button, it should do that. The only thing is it's really cool out outside right now, so it's not going to change any power targets. The power targets are already at 100. So if I click on it, it'll check and then no power change. So this did not update. If it did update, then uh, Notepad++ will, will tell me that this page has changed and you want to reload it. Yeah, but you can see nothing changed because everything's at 100. But you would see that if it, let's say GPU3 was overheating and then it down powered him by five, then this number after I reload the page will become 95 or 90 or whatever it is um, going down from zero. All right, now, like I said, why is this very important? It's important because you want to keep your VRAM temperatures uh, not hot. You don't want to run at 110 nonstop. So you want to keep them not hot. Um, and, but then you also want to have the power target at your perfect uh, spot, right? For 3080, it's going to be like 70. Then 3080 LHR is 75, and your 1080 Ti's, 3080 Ti's is going to be around, uh, I think it's 7580, and then your 3090 is at 100. So you're going to be saving power by down powering it, especially the 3080s. On 3090s, you're not really down powering anything here because they're all at 100 anyway. But you get the idea that this is what it's used for. And this is what we use at our crypto uh, mining farm, GPU mining farm. This is what we use. But it's all done on the fly. Like I said, 
from this program right here, this guy right here, this crypto LLC GPU AI program, it does it for us. So it's all automatic, checks, writes the file, saves, activates the file, does it all on itself. All right, well, I hope you guys liked the video. You know what to do, like, subscribe, hit the bell. And if you're looking for a GPU or ASIC mining farm, a uh, company you want to get in touch with, business you want to get in touch with, which is uh, our business, Crypto LLC, go to CryptoLLC.org, send us an email, we'll get in touch with you. Till next time, bye.